Lufkin to too much of that uh, today. He's going to keep his uh, half-court offense very working in, in a very uh, specific and contained manner. But I think it's very important that in this game that Teresa Francis squad set the pace right from the onset. All right, Cena Mitchelson will jump for Rutgers. Shandy Bryan will do the honors for Clemson. And the tap is controlled by the Lady Tigers, who move right to left on your screen. Clemson in the road blue with orange numerals. Shot taken outside, no good. And Rutgers in the home white trimmed with red and the red numerals. Vicki Green across the midcourt line and sets it up to Caroline DeRoos at the top of the key. Both teams right now, uh, well, uh, before Rutgers was playing man-to-man uh, -man and, and uh, Clemson has just come out of man-to-man -man also. 30-second shot clock in women's college basketball. We're down to 10 on that shot clock now. Vicki Green for three, good! Right from the start, you can see that Rutgers is trying to take their time, work the clock, and work for a good shot. Rutgers leads 3-0. Shot outside, Rima Miller, no. And Vicki Green pulls down the rebound, and Rutgers is on the run. Long outlet pass to Mitchelson, who travels with the basketball, so the first turnover of the game, and Clemson will take over. This one, of, one of the things that, that can get Rutgers in trouble. They're, they're doing a nice job of ready, but watch out for that long pass. Sometimes you, could, you get a big girl on the run. She can't control it that well. Hold it up and wait. Let's run the offense. New AP Top 25 poll released today, and Clemson ranked number 24 in the nation. In fact, four teams from the Atlanta Coast Conference in the nation's top 25. Lou, this is an interesting matchup. If you saw Janelle Williams right now guarding Tara Sanuk. Dana Puckett with a great pass inside, but Clemson cannot connect. And it's still 3-0 Rutgers. Coffin to Mitchelson gets position and scores. That's one of the things we said early on in the program. Cedar had good position in the low post. We see the ball squares and shoots. And the pass thrown away in the paint. And Rutgers comes away with it. Cheryl Kopp will bring it across for the Lady Knights. Cop coming back after an injury-riddled season last year. Caroline DeRoos is open for three. Rutgers is doing a great job getting free, and Clemson has to work harder on attacking that girl. Both Vicki Green and Caroline DeRoos came up with two crucial outside sh shots. And Rutgers off to a sparkling start. The Lady Knights lead 7-0. Traveling the call, another Clemson turnover, and Jim Davis wants his team to calm down a little bit. Thought he was signaling for a timeout, but he did not. We're two and a half minutes into the game. Cheryl Kopp stops, pops, in and out. A spinner on the iron, and Clemson the other way. They were almost clearing out for her on the left-hand side. Pocket dishes off. Shot taken by Jackson, though. Vicky Green, it's a two-on-two. -two. Stutter step move, gets it back to Cop, and Churl will set it up. Inside Mitchelton. Dribbles, puts it up, and the foul on Clemson. Called on Dana Puckett. Dana Puckett at 5-7, trying to stop the 6-3 seat of Mitchelson in the lane. She did, it. she did a great job. Top of the key. Clemson's not 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 keying too much on Cedar or Janelle and trying to work uh, very hard defensively on the outside girls. But she did a nice job driving right in the lane that was right open. Cena Mitchelson will shoot two. Her first is no good off the rim. Cena, an education major here at Rutgers, 71% from the free throw line this year. Actually, she's doing very well on the free throw line, better than the rest of uh, her team. She hits the free throw. Yeah, Rutgers as a team just hitting 55% from the line this year. Rutgers off to an eight nothing start. Three minutes gone by first half. Shot put up, good. Clemson gets its first bucket of the evening. Shandy Bryan scores, and she leads the Tigers. And points average at 17.8. And 10th on the all-time Clemson list. Hop looking for help. DeRoos outside. Clemson picks up the defense now. DeRoos from the foul line, though. And underneath the rebound by Bryan. 
Up ahead, the Tigers on court to three. Off the rim, knocked out of bounds. Last touched by Rutgers. They say it went off Caroline DeRoos. You're going to see this a lot. Clemson comes right down and, and throws up that ball. They don't think, they don't blink twice about that. One of the amazing stats, Rima Miller just took that last three-point shot. She is a center, a center, folks, hitting 43% from three-point range. Not your typical center. There's the pass up ahead, knocked away, but then traveling the call. That's the fast break that can get them in trouble. There's Caroline should just held the ball up. They got the ball very nicely off the defensive boards. Janelle was in no position to receive that ball. Cheryl Kopp, top of the key. Inside, Mitchelson zips it out to DeRoos for three. Yes! This is exactly what Teresa wants to do. Get the ball inside, pop it right back out to DeRoos or Kopp. Rutgers off to a nine-point lead. Lady Knights 11 and Clemson 2. Inside, the pass goes. Knocked away. Rutgers interior defense superb. And Kopp will walk it across. Clemson is not having an easy time getting the shot off that they want or passing the ball around the perimeter. Look at Teresa Gretz as she looks at the action. Not much emotion from Coach Gretz early. Cheryl Kopp fakes to three. Ten seconds on the shot clock inside Mitchelson. Puts it on the floor, keeps it outside green. Four, three, yes. If this was the game plan, Lou, it's working very well. Get the ball inside, collapse to the defense, pop it outside, outside shot. Moving baseline, Tigers in trouble. Shot forced up, Mitchelson pulls it out of the air. Rutgers shooting spectacularly here in the first half. Excuse and, me, in the first half. And they're also playing great defense, allowing Clemson one shot at the basket. Three point percentage, Rutgers is three for three, Clemson has not hit from three-point land. Janelle Williams scores in the foul. And a great pass. We spoke earlier. We said the big girls need to perform offensively, and the communication between Cedar Mitchelson and Janelle Williams is outstanding. That was a lob pass. I haven't seen that pass done in previous games, and they did a great job. And Jim Davis calls timeout. Fort Field in the first five and a half minutes of the game. Seven for nine, including three for three from three-point range. Clemson, one of eight, shooting 12%. And of course, there's the reason for your score, 16 to two. Williams misses, and DeRoos got the rebound, but threw it away. Jim Davis took off his Lady Tiger orange jacket. It's getting a little <laughs> hot here for him, Lou. Went for that timeout before the uh, regulation TV timeout. He didn't want the game to get away from him. Puckett outside, being hawked by Williams. Great defense. Rima Miller, top of the key. Shot clock is down to five. Miller down to three. Shot put up off the rim, no. Rebound to Roos. That was Kerry Boyd Hall who took that shot. The substitution was made, and she is the 1,000-point scorer, and she's in there for her shooting. We'll talk more about her. Kerry Boyd Hall. Standing player for Clemson. Vicki Green drives, but it's blocked nicely by Rhonda Jackson and the Lady Tigers the other way. Here's Puckett across the midcourt line. Dana Puckett, right wing. Boy at Hall. Harry Boy at Hall, a senior out of Oneida, Tennessee. Ninth all time leading scorer for Clemson. Puckett for three off the front of the rim. And the rebound put in. Tigers doing a much better job of crashing the boards now. Rima well, Miller puts it in. That was a little lapse on, on Ruckus' part over there. They kind of let it get away from them and, and gave, uh, gave Clemson that second shot, which they had in, in the first uh, seven minutes of play. And Rutgers' lead is now 12, 16-4 leading Knights. To Roos outside, cop for three, bullseye! Rutgers is taking their time on offense and they're shooting very well. Rutgers leads 19 to four. A sizzling start for the Lady Knights. But a long way to go in this one. 
Their positioning on defense is excellent. They're really, they're, they're, they have good body movement and they're not giving uh, Clemson anything. Puckett with the turnaround nicely done in the paint. And Cheryl, Cheryl played great defense. I mean, Dana worked very, very hard for that shot. 19-6, 12 and a half remaining first half. Cheryl Kopp moves against Dana Puckett. Williams is open, now spins it outside the green. DeRoos moves in the lane, and the foul is on Clemson. They'll call it on Rima Miller. That was a nice offensive clear out, bringing Janelle Williams to the low post, and she needs to be there. Give her the ball in the low post, let it go for the two points, let it get on the line. On that play, though, we're, 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 what, what DeRoos wants to try to do is don't drive into the defense. They should drove right into the defense. Vicki Green will trigger for the Knights underneath their own basket. Clemson makes a couple of substitutions. We'll try to catch up to them when time warrants. Cop fakes the three, bounce pass outside to Roos. Now Cop is open. She takes the three in and out. Mitchelson the rebound. Gets it back to Green. Rutgers shooting has been outstanding. De Roos the turnaround good. On those substitutions, they brought in Tara Sanook and they brought in uh, Jessica Barr, who's a transfer from Georgia, and Ade Kowegi from Nigeria. This is a very sh uh, sh strong shooting backcourt for Clemson. Puckett almost lost. Cop knocked it away momentarily. Down to five on the shot clock. Sanook, the bounce pass inside, stolen by Mitchelson. Flips it out ahead to Tarus, who tries to save but cannot. Runs into coach Jim Davis. Crowd is booing. Sanook outside, no. Rebound green. What they want to do is hold up. They just lost, they had, had great defense a couple of seconds ago, and they lost it by that, trying to do it, trying to make a fast break that was just out of range for them. I think the crowd felt that Clemson coach Jim Davis interfered with the DeRoos in trying to get that last pass. I don't think so. I don't think I, they saw I don't him think here, so either. No, I don't think so. <laughs> That's what they think. <laughs> That's what the crowd thinks. The crowd needs to get into the game right now. Yeah. Ruckus is playing very, very well. I, I, I haven't seen them play this kind of defense. You know they're capable of doing it, and they always do in the big games, so they just, they just do a great job. Coming in right now is Denise Reddy at point and Amy Riders. Amy Riders, Regina Kowalki also into the game for the Lady Knights. So Teresa Grentz makes her first substitutions. Driving to the hoop was Jessica Barr, a junior out of Batesburg, South Carolina. And she draws the foul, so we'll go to the line. And I don't know if you remember Jessica, but in a game that we did a couple of years ago with Georgia, Jessica was a freshman on that team, and she transferred, and she just became eligible this past December. Georgia and Rutgers played in the Bell Atlantic Championship a few years back. There's a good look at Jessica Barr. Free but, throw, no good. What Rutgers needs to do right now is that this is not their strongest team on the court. They need to take their time and work the ball inside to Kaluki and to Janelle. Clemson shooting 66% from the line. And Barr hits one of two. 21-7. Rutgers by 14. Here's Denise Reddy. Regina Kaluki outside to Reddy. Great pass into Rinders who draws the foul. Absolutely. Rutgers is doing a tremendous job spreading the defense and Therefore, there are a lot of holes right in the middle, and that was a great pass by Denise to Amy. Denise Reddy, a senior out of Hazlitt, All-American soccer player, and she's quite a story. A one-time walk-on here at Rutgers earned herself a scholarship. Another story at the free throw line, Amy Reinders, a freshman 5'11 out of Rochester, New York, considered to be one of the top recruits in the East this year for head coach Teresa Grimson. And she not only is a great basketball player, 4-0 GPA, number one in her class in high school. She averages eight points a game, and she leads the team in steals. She's number one in steals. Here comes the full, full pressure we spoke about. Rutgers applying the pressure, and Clemson having a hard time breaking it, but they do. Puckett gets it over to the right wing, shot put outside, it was a three-point attempt, and the ball goes out of bounds. A nice 
try at a save by Curry Boy at home. I think that was a great move by Teresa. Put that full court press on with a team that, that, that I don't think Jim Davis expected to press with. 22-7 the score. 10 minutes halfway through the first half. Great pass underneath. Vicky Green, Regina Kolecki scores. Clemson just doesn't look comfortable out there at all. Rutgers harassing on defense. Rutgers is setting the pace this whole game. They are just playing fa sound, fundamental basketball. They are talking on the court. They're, they're, they're letting their girls go through the picks. They're playing very well. Puck it outside. Off the rim, no. Rebound knocked around. Vicki Green comes out with it. The Rutgers fans like what they see here in the first half. And Clemson hasn't made any adjustments defensively. They're still in their, in their straight man-to-man -man defense. Ball thrown away. Puck it across the midcourt line. Good pressure by Denise. Shot put up off the back of the rim. No by Rhonda Jackson. Rebound put up. No. Shandy Bryan overshot the basket and Rutgers the other way. One of the most aggravating things for an offensive player is when a defensive player picks you up at half court and never leaves you alone. That's what Rutgers has been doing. Janelle Williams, top of the key. Green tried to force it into Kalucky, but she was double teamed and hard to get it in there. Well, now what's happening is that they're telegraphing their pass. The last three passes were deflected and they're telegraphing the right to the girl. Ball on the floor. Nice job by Jackson to get it out, but it's stolen by Reddy. Here's a three on two. Denise Reddy finds Vicki Green. Puts it up. No. Rebound Kalucky, and it's blocked by Puckett. And the foul is on Rutgers. Might be on Amy Reinders. Rutgers has deceiving speed. We know that Vicki Green's fast. She came right in there. That was a, that was a beautiful pass right to her, and Kalucky foul, followed it very nicely. And a timeout on the floor. Eight minutes and 20 seconds remaining. First half. Rutgers 24. Clemson 7. Clemson 0 for 7 from three-point range. Rutgers 4 for 5 here in the first half. There's Puckett outside. She struggled. 1 for 6 from the field. Only two points in the game. And remember, she had 45 points in the last two. There's a three-point shot by Curry Boyett Hall. 1,188 all-time points coming in. Clemson is still sticking by their man-to-man -man defense, though they haven't made an adjustment defensively. They probably feel that uh, they're not playing it the way they should, and, and with uh, good adjustments, they could... Uh, Kolecki misses the shot, and Cedar Mitchelson doing fine work underneath, gets the rebound and draws the foul. Mitchell said three points, three rebounds, uh, two steals here in the first half. She's played well. Denise Reddy comes out, and Cheryl Kopp back into the lineup for the Lady Knights. What's happening offensively to, to Clemson, the game is kind of catching up to them. They're, they're relying on the outside shot, and, and they're not getting it in, and they're not working the ball inside. Their only shots they've, they've received inside have been off offensive rebounds. You know, that three-point statistic as Mitchelson hits the first, then she'll get another. It's on the way, and good. 26-10 the score. It's interesting because Clemson is the three-point shooting team coming in. They uncorked 95 three-point shots this year. That's 30 more than Rutgers has shot. And give, and give Rutgers a great deal of credit. They're playing tenacious man-to-man -man defense, knowing that Clemson is very good on the three-point range and not giving them a good shot. Foul underneath on Clemson. And that's the sixth team foul on the Lady Tigers. And Rutgers will throw it in. Cena Mitchelson will win bounds. Regina Kalecki comes out. And Caroline DeRus is back in. So Rutgers goes with Kopp. Ball knocked away. It'll be a Rutgers ball. Yep. Roos and Kopp in the backcourt, excuse me, Kathy. And up front, Mitchelson, Reinders, and also Janelle Williams. It's a 2-2-1 zone press that Rutgers was practicing uh, yesterday in preparation for Clemson. They broke it very nicely. Kopp outside to Roos. 
Cheryl Cop plants for three off the rim. Pass up ahead. It's a one on three, and Rutgers just got back on defense and swiped it away. There's Cheryl Cop, angles left. Rutgers is spreading out the offense very, very well right now, leaving a lot of gaps on the inside. There's a foul on Kalisha Quarter, a freshman, 5'7", Mount Juliet, Tennessee. Clemson, a lot of recruits from Tennessee. Well, Jim Davis coached there previously to come into uh, to, to Clemson, and he has a line right to Tennessee, and he has a couple of girls from Ashland, North Carolina, which is the western part of the state. And we should point out as well for people who don't know exactly where Clemson is geographically located in South Carolina. It is in the west part of the state of South Carolina, very close to uh, Tennessee. Known as Death Valley. Yes, where the football team plays. Cheryl Kopp, free throw now. Foul on Mitchelson. Death Valley, the uh, name of the... Uh, where the Clemson Tiger football team plays because uh, most most oh. teams go in there and, and, and they, they die. die. <laughs> That's basically why they call it Death Valley. They do that in Little John, Little John uh, arenas where they play basketball and they die there also. <laughs> Basket good. And the foul is on Mitchelson. Coach Grintz not thrilled with the call. Didn't like that call, but here's what Clemson did. Clemson wasn't successful on the outside. They started to pump it inside, and therefore, Shandy Bryan is on the line with a foul. Shandy Bryan, outstanding player. She's looking to be the third player in Clemson University school history to score 1,200 points and garner 800 rebounds. Quite a feat. Okay, here's my question for you, Lou. Who's the, who's the number one leading scorer in Clemson history? You've uh, you got me, Cap. Okay. I, I don't know. Girl named Barbara Kennedy. When I coached at East Carolina, Barbara Kennedy was a great ball player, and she still holds the record. Matt back works at Clemson uh, right now in the academic department. Cop loses. 26-12 the score. Rutgers up by 14. Rutgers really started out tremendously, but. They've slowed down a little bit now, and the game really has slowed down as a whole. They've slowed down, but they're still, they're still controlling the momentum of the game. Rinder's great look-away pass into Janelle Williams, but Jessica Barr also played it very nicely. Tigers looking to push it up, but Rutgers gets back quickly. Boy at Hall, baseline, nice move, puts it up, draws the foul. Rutgers changed their defense a little bit. They're showing us a little bit of a 1-3-1. Curry Boyett Hall will go to the line. Interesting story. One of the top players really on the Clemson squad, but relegated to reserve duty because she has a strained rotator cuff, and it obviously inhibits her from doing all the kind of things that uh, she would like to do out there on the court. She is ninth on the all-time Clemson list. 1,188 points, hits the free throw. A 79% free throw shooter. And we should point out that she has received the uh, Bell Atlantic Award given to the player who best exemplifies academic and athletic excellence. So congratulations to her. Five points today. It's both free throws. And Clemson is creeping back into the game. 26-14. Rutgers by 12. Winders outside. DeRus at the foul line. Five and a half remaining first half. DeRus loses. Clemson has stepped up the defense here in the last several minutes. Cheryl Kopp, five seconds on the shot clock. Moves to the foul line. Puts it up. No. And a foul on Williams. Clemson is still playing a man-to-man -man defense, but I don't know so much if it's the defense as the lineup that Teresa has out there right now. It's not a really, a really a, a lineup that really gels well together. She might need to put back in, you know, Vicky Green uh, or take out uh, uh, Janelle and put Cedar back in. That's not a, it's not a real good backward offense right over here. And Vicky Green gets up and sits in front of the scorer's table as you make that comment. Perhaps Teresa was listening. Beautiful pass inside, and Shandy Bryan puts it in. And don't look now, but Clemson has closed to within 10. 
foul at midcourt. Well, Lou, they closed within 10 because they did exactly what they had to do. They went to the inside. And this is, Teresa needs to make this adjustment because Sandy Bryan's a thousand point score, averaging 17 points a game, and they're not from the perimeter either. They're from the inside spot, so they're gonna need to defend them much better. Since the 16 to two Rutgers start, Clemson has outscored the Lady Knights 14-10. Caroline DeRoos hits the free throw. DeRoos, a superb free throw shooter, 89% on the season. One of the things I noticed in the Texas game is Texas really had Clemson basically all the way. They put a lot of full court pressure on them in the beginning, upset Clemson a little bit. I think Teresa might need to go back there. Don't let Clemson feel comfortable in this gym. Rutgers leads 28-16, 4.45 left first half. championship game of the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament. Rutgers looking to win its third in a row. Shot put up short. Janelle Williams out to Caroline DeRoos. Up ahead to Gabriela Gonzalez, who travels. Lost her balance as she came down. I want to make mention about this team on the court for Clemson. Besides Gary Boyant and, and uh, of course, Dana just came in. That was a very much a penetrating team, not an all right, Clemson trailing 28-16, brings it across. Dana Puckett, angles left, bounce pass, top of the key, and foul is on Gabriella Gonzalez, and I think she's coming out, Regina Kolecki. Uh, well, one of the things I was gonna say prior to Regina coming in, I don't know why Sita's sitting on the bench. Sita, Sita left the court with uh, uh, some great numbers, and uh, I thought she was doing a good job, and she was an intimidating force on the inside. I think she needs to get back into the game. She did pick up a couple of early fouls, and perhaps that's uh, Coach Grentz's feeling. Save those fouls for the second half. Jessica Barr at the line. Hits the free throw. Clemson number 24 in the nation. Rutgers received some votes in the AP poll this week. If you carried it out, they would be ranked 47th in the nation if you were to do that. The AP poll, number one team, Tennessee. Vanderbilt second, Stanford third. Virginia, number five, they're from the ACC. And of course, Maryland, who already beat Rutgers. Number six. Janelle Williams fouled, go to the line. Oh, wait, 4.08 remaining. Janelle Williams goes to the line. Janelle Williams shooting just 40% from the line. She needs to improve upon that, and she misses the first. Rutgers off offense is obviously in a drought. They haven't had a field goal. 5.48. Williams is sophomore at Harrisburg, Pennsylvania, a political science major. This is the second. 0 for 2 from the line. 10 point Rutgers lead, 28-18. Here's Barr for three. Off the back rim though. And Williams pulls it away for Rutgers. Cheryl Kopp walks it across. Dishes to Green. Ricky Green sets up. DeRoos, outside green, angles right, DeRoos, top of the key. Rutgers not moving the ball offensively as well as they did early on. They're staying on this side of the lane too much. Cop for three. Cheryl Cop has the range from three-point land today, and Rutgers leads by 13. Shot put up. Off the backboard, no, knocked around. Rutgers pulls it away. Rutgers was lucky with that rebound. Great, great hustle, but they're giving Clemson two shots at the basket, which they haven't done. Cheryl Cop, bounce pass outside. Green for three, yes! Vicky Green is really doing an outstanding job, really sparking from the outside, normally known as a penetrating guard and with three, with two three-pointers already. 2.45 remaining first half. Shot put up, no rebound to Roos. 
Rutgers leads 34-18, and the Lady Knights on the run. DeRue stops, pops, kicks. Yeah, DeRue wants everybody to get in that game. She's, she's getting this crowd all excited over there. All of a sudden, it's 37-18. A 19-point lead. It was a 10-point game moments ago. Boy, the positioning on Ruck is defensively is excellent. They're not giving them the outside shot. They're not giving them the drive. The dish inside, nicely done. Rima Miller inside to Barr, lays it in. 37-20, under two minutes remaining first half. Vicki Green double team. The foul is on Puckett. Jim Davis not in agreement. Well, Ruckus needs to read this right now because what's happening is that that Clemson might start jumping out of the half court and start might start double teaming the guard, whether it be Cheryl or Vicky, and, and they're gonna need some help. Rutgers three-point range. They have missed just once. Seven of eight. You know, the chemistry on the court is so important when Vicky was off the court. Uh, there was something missing. Bring her back on, and, and her speed, her enthusiasm, the way she moves things on the court really means a lot. Vicki Green cannot hit the free throw. It's 37-20. This is going to be a real test for, for Regina Kalucki against Rhonda Jackson and Shandy Bryan. Kalucki with the block. Knocks it away, Vicky Green ahead of the field. Lays it up and in. Oh, what a great shot. That's the way you run a fast break. Rutgers by 19, and the Lady Knight bench is up. A minute 15 remaining first half. Boy, look, look at Regina and, uh, and Shandy go after it. Look at her positioning, how, how well she's moving around. Boyd Hall outside, five seconds on the shot clock. Drives the lane, puts it up, and draws the foul. Great burst to the basket by Curry yeah. Boyd Hall. Vicki Green knew that was her fault. You know, she's faster. She knows she didn't drop step and, and, and catch her in that position. That's not going to happen again. Great communication. You know, the other day at practice, Teresa was saying, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk, let's communicate. They're communicating. They're not getting caught on very many picks, and, and, and Clemson's doing an excellent job, but they're having to work for every single shot. So Boy at Hall at the line, two shots, 79% free throw shooter, gets the first. Clemson as a team hitting 66% from the line. Second is on the way, no good, in and out. Rebound, Clemson. Underneath, good job, nicely done by Rhonda Jackson. And, and she'll go to the line. And Caroline is saying, me? Well, Caroline, you might have got her a little bit on the back over there. Rhonda Jackson averaging 7.2 rebounds per game. I think what happened right over there, uh, Teresa took out, I was going to lose to Teresa, had taken out Regina and put in, uh, put in Gabriella. I think she just wanted to talk to Regina and then because Regina's doing an outstanding job. This is, this is a very important game for, for, for players like Janelle and Regina and Gabriella because they're playing a very good Clemson team and if they could, they could do a good job against these big girls, then that, that's gonna mean a lot to them in future games. Outlet pass to Vicki Green outside to Cop and Cheryl will set it up. 45 seconds remaining in the first half. Janelle Williams fouled and went down hard. But she'll go to the line. Janelle Williams has outstanding potential. She's an athlete. We would say she's a pony. She's a thoroughbred. She has, uh, uh, eventually, she's going to be one of the best players in Rutgers history. Just a sophomore. Her future ahead of her. Free throw is good. And she walks away <laughs> a little sigh of relief. Again, she has struggled at the line. But you get that one. She'll get another. Second is on the way. Good. 41-22. Rutgers by 19. 37 seconds left first half. 
Felicia Coiter with the basketball being played by Cop. Bounce pass underneath. Miller, turn around, put up and in. Nicely done off the glass. And Rutgers will play for the last shot. 15 seconds left in the half. 41-24. Offense. Count to five seconds. DeRoos off the front of the rim. And right to left on your screen. Vicky Green throws it away and gets it back. She re-steals. The ball is loose. It's still loose. And Mitchelson comes out of there with it. Both teams are starting the same starting lineups they started in the beginning of the game. Cheryl Kopp with the ball. Outside, Vicky Green. Caroline DeRoos to Kopp. Mitchelson, outside DeRoos, three, yes. I tell you what, Lou, I'm very, very surprised. Reema Miller on that. I was waiting for the Clemson to come out with a different defense and putting more pressure on the outside shooters. There's an outside shot, three-pointer, Tara Sanuk. 44-27. So Rutgers, though, starts off where they left off in the first half from three-point range. They were seven of nine. Rutgers backcourt, Cheryl Cox and Vicki Green have combined for 17 points, five rebounds, and five for six from three-point range. Can't ask for better than that. Cop outside Green, stolen. Tara Sinuk dribbles all the way, lays it up, no. Rebound knocked around underneath, out of bounds, last touch by Rutgers. Quick substitution for Jim Davis's Clemson Lady Tigers. Kerry Boyett Hall comes in for Rima Miller. Interesting, very but, quickly. Well, I think he wanted some outside shooting, and I don't think he was pleased with it. Well, what I just alluded to before is uh, DeRoos getting an easy uh, three-pointer when Rima just sloughed off on her. Cop being played by Puckett. Pair of number 11, DeRoos. Tries to go baseline, outside Green. DeRoos inside Williams, but overplaying nicely. Rhonda Jackson knocks it away. Well, Janelle has to learn how to move towards the ball. Watch out now. Tara Sanuk is heating up from three-point range. She came into the game hitting 44% from out there, just a sophomore. And Clemson has cut it to 14. 44-30, Rutgers. 17.45 remaining, second half. Cop moves to the foul line. Outside, Green. Mitchelson to Cop. Inside pass to DeRoos. Green at the buzzer, no, off the rim. And Clemson with the rebound the other way. Clemson playing a tough defense on, on Rutgers. Dana Puckett dishes outside. Boy at Hall with a nice maneuver on the baseline and the foul before the shot. And you don't see that too much, uh, Terry doing that too much because Jim Davis has the green light on for the three-point shot and you, you uh, are surprised to see her drive right through but you saw her late and she wanted to take advantage of it. Now, I spoke earlier is that Clemson likes to score off the out-of-bounds plays and he has a couple uh, that they run very, very uh, well. Let's see if they get it today. Puckett does get it in. Rhonda Jackson, Puckett in the corner. Boyd Hall pulls up, nice off the glass. It's a 12-point game. That is 40. the adjustment that Teresa has to make is what's happening is that the guards are getting the ball, they're not getting their outside shot, they're pumping and they're driving right in. 44-32, Vicki Green almost has it taken away. Amy Reinders back in the game for Rutgers in place of Caroline DeRoos. Top into the paint, outside Reinders. Takes the pass, puts up the shot. Mitchelson rebound and scores. Boy at Hall on the left wing. Top of the key, outside Sunuk for three. In and out. Rebound Williams and the foul is on Clemson. Amy Ryan is going to have to read this because now Sunuk, as soon as they get the ball, they don't even look for the second pass. They're going to shoot it right up. Looks to 
get it across and does. Vicki Green, touch pass into Mitchelson. Nicely Boy, done. Is she having an outstanding game? Boy, was that a read? She, of course, set her up for us. She did, had great post position, but that was a great pass by Vicki. Reinders knocks it off the Clemson player. Nice play. Amy Reinders, the freshman, off of Shandy Bryan. Two. Knocked out of bounds. It'll be Rutgers ball. Lou, during the break, we, talk, we talked about this. In the past two out-of-bounds plays, actually, it's the third one, is they had problems bringing in the ball. Jim Davis is going to read that, and this pressure is going to be on for a long time. Rutgers needs to do a better job in getting the ball in bounds. Cop does a nice job to come and meet the pass. She gets it across the midcourt line. Moves to the right. Mitchelson. Outside, Vicki Green. Mitchelson, wide open jumper, and it doesn't go. But Clemson will do that. They'll want Mitchelson to take that jump shot from outside. Oh, they sure do, because they know that's not her shot. She's not a foul line uh, uh, shooter over there. Boyan Hall outside. So look, she's red hot here in the second half. And Amy needs to know that because she gets her hands on the ball. She's going to pop it right back up. Same thing with Dana over there. Right there. See? There's the three-point shot at the buzzer. Doesn't go. Mitchelson pulls it down. What Amy needs to do on something like that, I think, is deny Tara because Amy's much faster than Tara. And Tara's not going to be able to even backdoor back door on her. Cop inside, thrown away. Too many blue jerseys. And Clemson comes up quickly. Boyan Hall lays it up and in. Oh, what's happening right now is now, now Ruckers is not communicating on offense, and, and Clemson is reading everything that, that Ruckers wants to do. So they're going to have to mix it up a little bit and work that ball around better. Are you by 14, 48, 34? 14 and a half remaining second half. Sure. See, Cop, Cop, is, Cop is dribbling the ball way too much because she doesn't have help from her teammates. This is not a group that's going to help her out, and that's why you have DeRoos coming back in the game. Cheryl Cop took the baseline jumper that didn't go. See what Amy needs to... Janelle Williams the rebound. See, Amy's a freshman. They need to communicate more. She came down. There was a switch on on, on player to play, and she needs to recognize that. Great pass. Great pass to Williams, but Williams lost the handle. Puckett puts up a three, no. Rebound, put up in in the foul. Shandy Bryan doing the job on the boards. Clemson is still not effective, Lou, in coming down and finding their range right away, but what's happening right now is Shane, Shandy's coming in the game with the follow-up offensive rebound, and, and Ruckers needs to Ruckers needs to recognize that. You know, you got Janelle, Janelle Williams. She's a sophomore. She's not used to that. She missed two critical uh, receiving passes on, on the inside of what, before with Vicky and, and now with, uh, uh, with Amy, and, and she just needs to get better at that. Ryan at the line, 63%. Free throw the shooter, hits the free throw. A three-point play for the Clemson Tigers. Brian with nine points today. Now what's gonna happen with Amy? You got Cheryl out of the game. Cheryl is the general on the court. Amy's gonna need to communicate with Vicky a lot more. Darius with a long football pass that's picked off. Boy and all puts it up, doesn't go. Rutgers the other way, two on three, and Vicky Green will slow it down. You know, Vicki Green did such a great job last year coming in when Cheryl was injured at point. And, uh, ah, and she continues to do it today. A little bad pass on that one. But once again, Amy needs to read the offense. Amy needs to know when do I pop back up because Vicki needs to have a receiver. That's the seventh Rutgers turnover this half. That's something they did not do in the first half. No, they only had ten turnovers in the, first, in the whole half, and now they have uh, seven with the... Uh, Seven to go, actually 10 with seven to go. Boy at all launches the three, doesn't go. Ball knocked out of bounds, it'll be a Rutgers ball. That was a, that was a smart veteran play by Vicky, not allowing her defender, her offensive uh, girl, to come in there and get the ball. I tell you what, I'm impressed with Vicky Green. Uh, she's grown every single year, been put in positions that uh, uh, that she never played before. At, at 5'10", she played guard. She's a thousand point scorer from a Corster uh, in Trenton and just uh, has really blossomed here. 
Mitchelson is out of the game. Regina Kalecki in. Reinders pulls up for the jumper. The freshman, Amy Reinders out of Rochester, New York. Well, Amy started out a little flat today. You know, I think this, this gal has a great deal of potential, and maybe she needs that basket to get her moving here. Look at Vicky all over, Jessica. Bar puts up. Oh. An unbelievable shot. Well, well, she worked for that shot, and, and, and actually, Regina just stood there. What was she going to do, foul her? It goes in 50 to 39, an 11 point Rutgers lead. Reinders outside, great oh, pass to Kalecki in the lane and banks it home. You know, this is what I like about this gal. She is a terrific passer, and Regina's smart offensive player had her hands ready. Outside shot, good. Rhonda Jackson connects. Things are heating up. We got us a ball game here. 52-41. 12 minutes left. Second half. Okay, Teresa got up off the bench a little over there. We were talking about before she was a little quiet. She's up by 11 points. She doesn't want to lose this one. Coach Grants. Over 400 wins here. She's done a great job. Trying to win yet another Bell Atlantic tournament. Hop outside. Darus, top of the key. The 30 second shot clock is not moving. I don't think anyone has noticed it. Hey, oh, Jim has noticed it. Jim Davis Jim just da noticed it. <laughs> the shot noticed. clock not moving. Rutgers dribbling around and passing the ball, and meanwhile, the shot clock not ticking, ticking away. Finally, he noticed it. No. Here comes Clemson. Way to stop the ball, Regina. Good job. Bounce pass goes awry. I got to tell you, I'm impressed by the transition from offense to defense from Rutgers. Uh, this, this Clemson team is not getting too many fast breaks over here. Darius gets it in. Amy Reinders tries to dribble out of there. Clemson with full court pressure. Cheryl Kopp, a nice job across the midcourt line. She did. Amy was a little shaky on, on in the backcourt over there. Almost wanted to give the ball up right away. And she shouldn't be that way. She's a good ball handler. She can handle that. Cross court pass to Darius. Reinders tried to get it into Mitchelson, but Clemson overplaying, knocked it out nicely. Rima Miller. Over here, what Reinders needs to do, hold on to your dribble uh, a little more. Get to a better passing lane. You know, Sita had good position, but the passing lane wasn't created by Amy. Mitchelson scores. I tell you what, Lou, we said earlier, Sita has to do it and Janelle has to do it. And now Regina's in there and they're doing a very nice job inside. Bar at the top of the key, way outside. A NBA three-pointer taken by Miller. Rutgers by 13, 54, 41. Ten and a half remaining. Cop penetrates, puts it up. Soft shot doesn't go. Mitchelson puts Offensive it Offensive rebound, way to go. I tell you what, Sita needs a game like this. She hasn't had a game, but she needs a good game defensively and offensively. 56-41, Rutgers up by 15. Whistle. Foul is on Regina Kolecki inside the paint. Regina and Shady going uh, neck to neck over there. I tell you what, when you play a team like Clemson and you can get players like Regina Kolecki in and Amy Riders in, that's great experience for them because they're playing a very, very good team and they're playing well. Puck it, wide open, hits the three. Dana Puckett beginning to heat up. 56-44. Winders outside, cop. Cheryl Kopp tries to go inside the Mitchelson. Doesn't get the roll, but 
draws the foul. I think you're going to see Vicki Green come in for Amy Riders right now. Amy is a little, looks a kind of a little shaky on, on offense. Doing a nice job, but there's, we don't have, you don't have that flow on the offense, and, and she certainly did. She came in for her. We're, we're gonna, now we're going to have the, the senior come in, communicate with Darus and, and, and Coppa. I think you're going to see a different complexion out there offensively. Mitchelson at the line. Cito will shoot two. 13 points today and actually make it 14 and nine of those 14 here in the second half. Right now, Ruckers is still maintaining a great 58% from the field, 67% from the three-point line. Both free throws, good. And Rutgers by 14, 58-44. Nine and a half remaining in the Bell Atlantic Holiday Tournament Championship game. Clemson, five and one coming in. Big victory over Texas in the semifinals. And nice maneuver underneath. Shandy Bryan gets position and scores. You know, Regina Klucki has a real, real tough uh, assignment with Shady. She's got to work on a few more things because Shady does a great job with her back to the basket and uh, Regina's letting her have that. Stolen by Puckett. Three on two, she drives the lane, cannot connect, but the rebound is in, Shandy Bryant. She's beginning to assert herself underneath the boards. Well, Ruckus is not communicating right now. They're not boxing out, and they're letting uh, Clemson have uh, two shots at the basket. Darus's three-point shot off the front of the rim. It's a 10-point game. Throw. Bryant lays it up in, and Clemson has closed to within eight. Teresa's good. Teresa's going to need to take a timeout right now because uh, Ruckers' transition from offense to, to defense is really lacking at this point. 8.20 remaining, second half, 58-50. Rutgers by eight. It's the first time since the opening moments of the game that Clemson has been within 10. Mitchelson cannot connect. And knocked out of bounds by Clemson. You know, Cedar has to, has to work on taking her time. She about Clemson on a 6-0 run. Uh, Teresa Grant's called for time to try to stop the bleeding a little bit. Inbounds pass is knocked out of bounds. During the second half, Brian, Shandy Bryan of Clemson has been on fire. Nine points in the second half, 15 in the game. And most of them have been from second shots and driving down the lane. Cheryl Cop double dribble. Another Rutgers turnover. Yeah, uh, uncharacteristic of Cheryl. Cheryl, I think, is trying to penetrate herself too much in there. Uh, she hasn't been successful the past couple of times. What Rutgers needs to do right now is they really need to clog up that middle because the, I think Clemson feels they're very vulnerable in there. And you can see Rondick is going to look for Shady, and they're going to they're go to Shady a lot. And see the fronting her all the way, which is a real smart move. Force him to make the law pass. Ball almost knocked away. Two seconds on the shot clock. Pocket off the rim. Rutgers the other way. Cheryl. Cheryl really needs to take a time right now and run the offense that Teresa wants them to run. There's no need there. They have an eight-point lead. It's very important to take a, a good shot, not a rush shot. Jerus from the foul line. That is a good shot. That's the girl you want to get free, right from that foul line area. But defense is the key for now for, for Ruckus, and I'm sure Jim Davis wants his team to look for the three, but if you don't get the three, get that ball inside. Mitchelson steals. He's good at that. Mitchelson key on defense, fronting Shandy. Shandy got the ball several times before when the girl was denying her on the side. Cheryl Cop, top of the key. Moves to the foul line. Outside, Green. Mitchelson, open, takes the jumper short. Janelle Williams saves, but Clemson takes it out of the air. Well, you know what she is going to have to do? That, that's not really her shot, and she shouldn't feel that just because she's on the foul line, she's obligated to take that, pop it back out, and run the offense. 60 to 50, Rutgers by 10. Six minutes, 15 seconds remaining in the championship game. Big girls playing good defensive positioning inside. Boyd Hall scores. Now the last three times Boyd Hall has scored has been off a dribble. 
And that's one of, one of the things that they have to key on right now. She's not going to pop the ball on the outside. Now she sees the drive. 60 to 52, 550 remaining. Outside to Roos, in and out. Ball knocked away, and Clemson can cut it to six, perhaps five with a three-point shot. A different ball game here in the latter stages of the second half. The foul is on Cena Mitchelson, reaching in on Shandy Bryan. Well, the crowd doesn't like that call, but it was a tough call. It was hard for us to see from this angle up here, but it was a tough call. Cedar was trying to get around, getting the ball, and uh, apparently foul Shady. I call it Shady, I'm sorry, Shandy. I wanted to say Sandy. I said, why don't they name these girls Sandy instead of Shady? It makes it easier for us. Dana Puckett oh. scores. Penetrating, you know, this team came in here and they and they popped the three-pointers, and now they didn't get the three points. They made the adjustment. They're penetrating, and Ruckus needs to make that adjustment also. And the foul is on Puckett at the midcourt line. That's her fourth. Rutgers crowd trying to get into the game, inspire the Lady Knights, who are up by just six points. You know, the good thing about Jim Davis, you know, Dana can come out with fouls, but he has uh, he has Kalisha Corden to be to put in, and also uh, Rima Miller. So he has a, a bench Clemson. that can easily come in there and, and uh, take over. Clemson has made it very much a game here in the second half. Trailing by six, Cheryl Cop. Well, you know, Lou, they made the game because they made some very vile adjustments, and, and Ruck has been come back and made those adjustments also. Darus. Throws it away, tried to go inside to Janelle Williams. Another Rutgers turnover. Well, Teresa's not happy with that pass because that's not a pass that they make normally in the game. So why do it in the game like this? That was a pretty unfair for, for Janelle to try to get something like that. Boyan Hall outside. Inside, getting position, scoring. Ronda Jackson. 60 to 56, Clemson has cut it to four. Janelle played behind Ronda Jackson and she needs to get in front of her. She needs to do what Cedar did against uh, Shandy. Is they get in front of the girl, front of her. Just put four and a half remaining in the game and Clemson right back in it. Vicki Green outside and now Rutgers needs to find somebody to take the shot. Cheryl Kopp, four, three, yes! Oh, what a great shot. Oh, was that a shot on the pressure? Big, big bucket for Cheryl Cobb. And a nice job by Miller underneath. She worked for that shot on the two defensive plays from Rutgers. 63-58, five-point Rutgers lead. Cop drives the lane, dishes outside to Green. 40 remaining. Here's DeRus. Ruck is doing a nice job offensively. Williams, nice move and the foul in the lane. I think they got Rhonda Jackson. Try to come right through, try to come right through those defenders. Almost walk, but held her position. Nice move. For Jackson, her fourth personal. At this point, what Rutgers needs to do is that don't do anything fancy, just do the right things. With 328 in the game to go up by five points, I'm going to take my highest percentage shots and I'm going to work the ball. The game is in our favor. And I'm sure what Jim's going to say, Jim's going to put on a, a, a press right now and try to get the ball inside. Janelle Williams cannot hit the free throw. She will get another. Try to give Rutgers a six-point lead. Free throw, good. Hits one of two. She'll come out and... No, they're certainly not. You have six and a half possessions right now with 323 to go, and every possession is going to be very, very critical. 322 left in the game. Rutgers by six, but Clemson with the basketball. Miller outside. Pocket for three. Now it's a three-point game. 64-61. Well, that's a shot that Ruckus doesn't want to give up, and uh, they have the work cut out for them offensively right now. Hop outside. Are you, are you, are you, are you, 
They're playing smart basketball, taking time, work the clock down. Kalecki outside to Green. Inside 10, though, on the shot clock. Now down to four, three. Cop puts it up. No, off the rim. And Clemson can either cut it to one or tie the game. Somebody has to watch for Shady. Oh, great read. Mitchelson with highway robbery picks it off. Leads the Lady Knights in steals. Cop almost lost it. Three games. 220 left in the game. Mitchelson with four steals in the game. Well, that was a great save by Mitchelson going down because Shandy had that lane and they, they knew she did. Kalecki puts it up, no. Mitchelson, the rebound, puts it up. Good. Way to go, Sita. And I tell you what, Sita has emerged in this game. Two critical steal, shot right there. 66-61, a minute 50 remaining in the game. Rutgers by five. Now Rutgers got, DeRus has to fight over that pick. DeRus has to fight over the pick because you know Clemson's gonna go for the three-point shot. Boyan Hall hits the three-pointer. 66-64, it's a two-point game. A minute 30 remaining. DeRus outside, she has been quiet here in the second half. Kopp puts up a wild shot. Mitchelson with a reverse underneath. And Clemson the other way. I don't think Coach Grants would have liked to have seen either one of those shots no, in that sure, situation. She sure did. Here comes Clemson. But now what Ruckus needs to do, Ruckus really needs to, to put pressure on the outside girls because even though they don't need a three-point shot, they'll take that three-point shot. Crowd is into it. Clemson can tie. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Puckett falls down. Oh, the Looks crowd for wants help. It. Picked up, put in. No, no, do they wave it off? No. That's the question. No, that buzzer went off before the shot. Clemson says count it. Rutgers says no. Oh, I thought the buzz went off before the shot. Teresa Grant says no. That shot was put up after the buzzer. And the referees are discussing it. So big controversy here with 51 seconds remaining in the game. It's a very important decision because if it counts, it will tie the score. Oh. Coach Grants is just, she's, she's basically just telling the referee there's no, no way, way. That's that right. that shot can count. And clearly the shot was put up after the buzzer, but they're gonna give it Whoa. to Clemson. I'm really surprised. I am very, very surprised. And Teresa's very, Teresa's really living right now. Well, because they didn't let the, they didn't let Janelle come into the game. Jim Davis, very happy. Obviously, Coach Grant's not so happy. 51 seconds left. Incredibly, Clemson has made a tremendous comeback here in the second half, and the game is tied at 66. And it's important, 51 seconds to go, so there's not two possessions left in the game, so Rutgers really needs to maximize on this. 22 on the shot clock, 42 in the game. Here's Cop, top of the key. Dribbles right, looks for help. Outside, Vicky Green. Clemson really turning it up on the D. 10 seconds left on the shot clock. Jerus inside. Oh, oh, what a great, oh, what a great pass. A great pass and the foul. That was a great read by Cop and a great pass by Jerus. So Cheryl Cop will go to the line. Very important free throws. Cop uncharacteristically shooting 61% from the line this year. She is a career 80%, actually above that free throw shooter. Outstanding free throw shooter throughout her career, but 0 for 1 today and just 61% on the year as we mentioned. Two big free throws. First on the way, no good. It is really uncharacteristic of her. The second. On the way, good. Lou, they're a veteran team, and veteran teams know how to play on the road and at home. Hot hands for Clemson in the second half. They'll look for Brian, who has 12 second half points, and Puckett, who has eight. 20 seconds left in the game. 
And a foul, I believe, by Rutgers. Interesting strategy. Vicki Green reaching in. But that's only the 15th foul on Rutgers. So Clemson will throw it in. 18.3 seconds. They're bringing Jessica Barr out and, and, and uh, the same play they did before, but then bringing Reeve Miller out. 13 seconds left in the game. Here's Puckett, 10 seconds. We're down to eight, seven. Shot good! With four timeout. seconds left. And Rutgers calls timeout. Now will they put time back on the clock? Jessica Barr with the shot. Clemson leads 68, 67. Three seconds on the clock. And let's see if they put time back on. And was that shot a surprise? Would you think that Jessica Ball would take that shot from the top of the key? Never thought that uh, she would be the person to take the shot. I thought perhaps it would be Puckett. And certainly it looked like Clemson was looking to go 17 points today, three for four from three point range. And Most of that though in the first half. Here we and go. It's going to be Cheryl taking the shot. Cheryl, or back to. Cop, three uh, pointer, block. Mitchelson puts it up. No, the game is oh. over. Clemson has defeated Rutgers. The final score, Clemson 68, Rutgers 67. Rutgers thought they had a foul at the end of the game, but nothing called. And we will be back to talk about it in a moment. A huge win for the Clemson Lady Tigers.